Julia, um, if I can summarize in one word, she's a warrior. And uh, she's a warrior because she fights for who she loves and what she wants. Um, she's a survivor. She doesn't like to be seen that much. So she loves to be alone. She loves to spend time with just the people that she really cares about. Um, and she is extremely guilty for her father's death. I think she's trying to forgive herself for that, but she can't understand how she's gonna do that. And I think the way she's dealing with that is taking care of her mom and Holt and trying to make everything okay for everybody. So she doesn't think too much about herself. At this point of the story, I don't know that the video is different because I've never seen the first tape. But uh, when we start uh, studying the tapes with Gabriel and Holt, we find out that there are images that are new compared to the older, older tape. And that's why we understand that this was made for me, especially for me. And that she, Samara, is trying to send me a message and she wants me to find out how, what happened to her and to help her out. They want to watch a tape and then by the fourth, fifth day is kind of like you want to find a tale because you're freaking out so much that you can't handle it anymore. And the whole thing is about how many days you can handle it. So everybody's filming each other and taking pictures to see who's the bravest to get through the whole seven days. I've, I've learned so much on this set um, from actors and from Javier because I've learned, I, I, I act emotionally, I, I think emotions when I'm on set, when I'm acting, and uh, I've been learning how to use technical stuff as well, and Javier's been helping me a lot with that. The whole movie I'm <laughs> acting with Alex, um, he's great. I can't really say much. I mean, we, we, we met for the chemistry read, and then he got here like three days before shooting, and we just had a, an amazing relationship already. I worked with Vincent and uh, Donofrio. He plays Father Burke, and. I can't thank him, you know, enough because he's been such a great help uh, with my acting. Um, so in some scenes, he really went for it, and he was kind of coaching me, if I can say that. Uh, it was my close-up, and he was just talking to me through the whole scene so that I would get where I had to get. And it's not you don't find these actors often so I, I consider myself so lucky of you know working with amazing actors like him um, he's been giving me tips besides that hey Lisa here with some horrifying movie facts for you though it's never stated in the film the demon that takes possession of Riga McCann has a name Pazuzu, which is taken from the name of the King of the Demons in Assyrian and Babylonian mythology. Now the poster for the Ghoulies, featuring a ghoulie popping out of a toilet, reportedly caused several angry mothers to write letters to the studio saying that their kids were too scared to use the bathroom after seeing the poster. Hmm. And the original title for Texas Chainsaw Massacre was Head Cheese. The actor who plays Leatherface, Gunnar Hansen, had to wear three inch heels so he could tower over everyone in the cast, which made chase scenes a little more challenging to film. Keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.